Australia just announced the beginning of the New World Order. Yes, the New World Order, the beginning of the One World Government. Oh yeah, they're going to be the country to test it out. Watch this. Today is the first full day of the New World Order. Outdoor gatherings are limited to two people. Exercise is allowed, but no further than a 10-kilometer radius from your home. Browsing in shops is not permitted. Only one person per household may leave to do essential shopping. And from tomorrow, funerals are limited to 10 people. This is a world pandemic. It's a one in 100 year event. So you can expect that we will have transmission. Uh, from time to time, and that's just the way it is. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. We've got to accept that this is the new world order. This is the new world order. I want to be straight with you. There will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future. I repeat, there will be no return to the old normal for the foreseeable future. So people assume uh, we are just going back uh, to the good old world which we had, um, and everything will be normal again in how we are used to normal in the old fashion. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. A vaccine on its own will not end the pandemic. Surveillance will need to continue. People will still need to be tested, isolated, and cared for. Contacts will still need to be traced and quarantined. Communities will still need to be engaged.